Hold them off! might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. You forget that army fighting for us out there? Longer we play around, the more Inquisition soldiers die. There's a hole. Jump in. Just a thought. Maybe rushing through this place like a mad bull isn't the best plan. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is... A danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so... romantic. Trust me. Your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It's said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way.
Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. We are close. There is but one more path to follow.
Can we go? Now? Come. Let us see if the doors have opened. is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? the other invaders. You stumble down our paths alongside Elven. Or at least those having our features. You bear the mark of magic, which is... familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? I don't understand the slumber bit. Who are you? I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasar. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. So, you're elves from ancient times? Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlefan? The Shemlin did not destroy Arlefan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. Wait, that's not right. What are you saying? You would not know truth. Shemlin history is as short as the pool of your years. What did the Imperium do then? Are you saying it wasn't a war? The war of carrion feasting upon a corpse, yes. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. What is this Vera Belisan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. We came to stop Corypheus. He's here to take your well, not I. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. I'll admit the idea of fighting the last of their kind does not thrill me. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I refuse. As you wish. Our duty is clear. The Vera Belisan shall not be usurped, even if I must destroy it. Masal Dinan. 
No! Bargain. Humans aren't the only stubborn fools on this continent. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Huh. This place is like a maze. Elfie elves didn't want normal people near their precious well. Something. How has such magic lasted? You tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you've got a damn long reach. You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. Your reserves are gone. So is the Lyrium. Isn't it time to stand down? 
to enjoy the mercy you showed our brothers and sisters? No thanks. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus, that he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. Corypheus already caused one disaster. Help him now, and he'll rip the world apart. I'm helping him reshape it. He's had centuries to make ready. You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now, with a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go? Power is all well and good, until it's taken away. What did you do? What did you do? My armor is gone. Delirium, I need it! Kill them all! Still alive. He's tough. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. Abelard! You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Samson thought the Well's knowledge was valuable. It could help stop Corypheus. I care nothing for your petty conflicts, Shemlin. You'll care when Corypheus arrives for the Well. The Well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. 
if that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. It's better that knowledge remain in the well, never passed on. You'd rather destroy it? Our duty is all that remains. Those who drank from the Virabella San paid a great price, bound to the service of Mithal for eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god. To you, it shall make no difference. into a corner and what if the well was destroyed or this entire temple are you so eager to die for sympathy's sake <sighs> well it's done <sighs> that it is You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Let's not be reckless. I don't want anyone hurt. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You're not concerned about the price? Bound forever to the will of Mithal? Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. You alone? You're not the only mage here. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? I would be. You lead the Inquisition. This is not a risk you can take. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. Are you sure you want this, Morrigan? We don't know what will happen. We do not, and yet it must be done. I am ready. Thoughts? It all seems ghoulish. Let Morrigan use it, if she wants it so much. It's called the Well of Sorrows. Sorrows? No one should go in the Well of Sorrows. Any chance this well could help us against Corypheus? I say you take it. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste?
And who's to say it will go to waste? I do. I am forever balked by those who believe they know better than I. Drink if you will, for the sake of us all, but steal your will to do it. to rip the veil open. I must learn how to stop him. I can't understand what you're... Look, will you help me or not? relief. So, good? Bad? I'm dying to know. Alluvia 
it is done. Pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not. You won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. Something from that well is speaking to me. Though it's hardly making sense. Oh, if only one who understood such voices had used the well's power instead. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them, and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spymaster? I told you what the well could have done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. I'm doing all I can, Morrigan. It will have to be enough. Earlier, you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon isn't an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... There is a way, but I'll need Morrigan's help. The voices from the well tell you that, do they? Very well, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready to begin this plan of yours. Are you certain of this? <laughs> I don't think certain is the right word. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime.
to work. Inquisitor. Thank the maker you were here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. She, she was chasing her. She, she said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan, Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Fade. How did the Alluvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Morgan! Go back! I, I must find Kieran before it's too late! Why would Kieran do this? How could, could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer.
was with him. That's... My mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So there's also some kind of, kind of family reunion. reunion. <laughs> Mother, the daughter, the grandsasa, the brother of the heart. That's it, that's it. Kirin is not, not, not your, your grandsasa. Let, Let him go. go! As if As I were a boy, boy, boy or a boy. She's always been, been ungrateful for you, Susie. Ungrateful! I know how you plan to extend your life, my wicked throne. You will not have me, and you will not have my son! Be a good lad and resist me. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? You... are Mithal. You are. It's very nice to finally meet you. You see, girl, those are manners, as you require a demonstration. I require nothing from you but your death. You tried that once already, and see how far it got you. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythal through the ages ever since. Seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you? She is a part of me. No more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. If Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I presume you know what we're up against. Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No, I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was. Snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. 
He is not your pawn, mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose? The reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Allah, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. Was the well. Be thankful you did not drink. Imagine, bound to your dear mother for eternity. <laughs> You're going to steal the body of a young boy? If my daughter believes it, then it must be so. Kieran, I. As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat, and it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait!
Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. So Kirin had the soul of an old god? Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. You truly had no idea what she was. I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this. I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now I have doubt. And doubt is an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. I suppose I should be thankful you drank from the well. Eternal servitude to mother would not be my first choice. For what it's worth, I think you did the right thing. Did I? She was testing me. And I cannot tell whether I passed. Mother said, you must summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. It's a place dedicated to Mithal. As, no doubt, is the guardian you must battle. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement. Mother must be very pleased. The Herald of Andraste, leader of the Inquisition, at her personal beck and call. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathal must somehow have been her influence. Perhaps she's influenced more than just what happened at the Temple. With Corypheus, you mean? He does have that elven orb. Which he had to acquire somewhere. Yes, I see. It is hard to imagine her motivation for doing so. Then again, everything about her is hard to imagine. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed and be thankful she assisted us at all. Do you trust what Flemeth told us? About what she is? I... I am uncertain. I knew there was more to her than I realized that she was not truly human. This? I once found her grimoire, and that was where I learned her immortality was gained by stealing the bodies of her daughters. Flemeth claims I misunderstood. It is not forced on the unwilling. Meaning I might agree to such a thing? <sighs> Impossible, yet there seemed an undeniable sense of truth to the things she told us. All my years spent hunting for arcane mysteries, and the greatest was the one I left behind. So what do you intend to do now? Now? I will take Kieran and leave. Where I will go is uncertain. I must consider the fact that Flemeth may yet have plans for me. You are her servant, but I am her daughter. I doubt she will let me slip completely from her clutches. 
Whatever happens, I wish you well in the coming battle, Inquisitor. I leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. I can feel it. Are you certain it's still in one piece? I'm sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. I'm here, Flemeth. Just as you told me. If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it.
wouldn't have believed it. It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. So when we find him, we'll fight between two dragons. <laughs> Mad plan. Love it.